Hello everyone and welcome back to Apotheon. We are fighting this guy apparently. There we go. Um So yeah, we, however, after that, are going to free the solar steeds and find Daphne. Maybe not both in this episode, but we're gonna do our best. I don't know what that does, but oh Jesus. Alright. Give me that didn't he? Oh, I didn't want this. How do I drop this? Like that. <laughs> okay. Time to break all of the deer. I apparently broke something that caught me on fire. Fall down and die. Okay. Let's drink a healing potion. So we just need to get to one of these quests. I didn't mean to kill the villager, I wanted to kill this guy. I'm sorry, guy. I don't even know who you were, but I'm sorry. I like how you can just pick up statues, because they're worth money. I don't know what breaking those things does, but I just feel like it does something good. Alright. Don't hit those, because they explode. I should really win that. Let's go find Daphne. Apparently Daphne harbors lots of hate and will help us on our quest. So do I have a map? Where are these? Water. Do I just have to like search around for her a lot? I'm getting better with my shield. I'm um, bunnies and squirrels. They're so cute. I'm not gonna kill you. I like you guys. You're cute. Let's read this thing. When Apollo was pursuing the virgin Daphne, daughter of the river Peneus, she begged for protection from Gaia, who received her and changed her into a laurel tree. Apollo broke a branch from it and placed it on his head. That's right. That's Daphne. Yeah, she doesn't like Apollo. She really doesn't. I don't think I killed him. But maybe I did, with a single stroke. Hey, I wouldn't mind. Yes, this area is for the honored guests of Apollo. I suppose Daphne is an honored guest? Lockpick this. I'll take all of these. Thank you. So I don't really have. Like, okay, there's two waters, but like, where would I take them? See, there's more water as well. Hmm. We'll have to figure out what I have to do with them before I can do anything with them, unfortunately. So let's just keep searching around. Because I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be finding Daphne. Is this her? This looks like her. She needs water. Oh god. Oh god. Why are you so angry? Hmm. 
We can definitely bring her water though. We already saw two. They're just way far away. And we can't jump when we're carrying it, I don't think. Jesus. No, I didn't. Okay. I hadn't really meant to drink that, but like. Okay. We can jump, we just can't fight. So I'm guessing a lot of these statues are going to come to life at one point or another. Um, how do I bring it to her? Cogs. I'm not sure what I need to do with those. But I need to bring Daphne more water. And apparently we just chuck the water jug at her. And that's good enough. Didn't I already get this? Can I just keep bringing her like the same jug over and over and over again? I feel like that would defeat the purpose. Like of exploring the whole place to find where the water jugs are, but hey, I didn't make the game. I am really enjoying this game though, I'll tell you that much. Alrighty. No! No, my water! Come back. Alright. Also, I think we might be, like, breaking open that thing that is encasing the tree. Oh gosh, okay, you wanna fight. Come here. Oh gosh, drink. Ha ha ha. Okay. Just need to bring her one more pitcher of water. And the pictures keep respawning there, so I mean, I didn't see a reason to go get more. Daphne, will you help us kill Apollo? Or, well, I don't think you can kill him because he's a god, but make him very unhappy. Like he were dead? No love for Apollo or his servants. I don't. Ah, Apollo, even in this wooden armor, I cannot escape his lechery. When I was a naiad, he pursued me in the forest. Just before I fell prey to his lust, I prayed for mercy and was transformed into this laurel tree. Then what does he do? He tears me from the earth and plants me in his private gardens. Every day he comes to caress my branches. I am forever sick of his leering face and spidery fingers. An enemy of Apollo is clearly an ally of mine. Take this ward, an echo of Helios's brilliance. Though he may think otherwise, Apollo does not command all that is bright in this world. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you. Alrighty, we did that. Where is the exit? We read that. The exit's not far from here. I think it's just here along here. Yep, let's go back to the palace. And then we can try and uh, free the solar steeds, because that's the thing that's left to do.
Wait, what's this? Oh, it's just one of those fast travel things. Took way longer than it should have. Have we read this? Apollo also slew Marcius, the son of Olympus. This fellow had come upon the flute which Athena had thrown away because it made her face misshapen, and he proceeded to face Apollo in a musical contest. It was decided that the winner could do whatever he wanted with the loser. During the contest, Apollo played lyre in a reverse position and invited Marcius to do the same, but Marcius was incapable of the feat, and so Apollo won. He finished off Marcius by hanging him from a lofty pine and playing him. Well, that's pleasant. Is there something up here I wanted? Like, I, I think I remember, like, deciding I should come back for something. I can move this thing. Oh, it broke. Okay. Are you gonna attack me? Okay, I'll just go into the stables then. Thank you. Appear to be two steeds. I'll definitely take the Dittany. Always can use that to craft. In fact, we should probably craft if we can. Um, we can craft a one nectar of healing. That's that's not so good. I was hoping for more than that. Dog. Do not think you can mess with me. Come here. One horse. Why on earth is it chained? Oh, there are a lot of horses apparently. The wrath of the shall are you sure? Because I don't think it will. the range that I get with the farmer's fork. I can attack them a long ways away. Oh gosh, more. Oh, I ran out of farmer's fork. <laughs> I don't like how a lot of the weapons, they last a very short amount of time, um, and I wish that they could last longer, but they can't. Okay, maybe I should just go to my... My arrows. It means I can't have a shield, but oh well. The arrows are a little OP if you can uh, deal with the time it takes to load your bow. Oh gosh, there's so many. There's so many. 
There's so many. I don't even know where I'm going. Pick up all of that. Let's drink this. Uh, I'm running out of health potions though, that's bad. Hopefully I can soon go back to the market. I'll take all the arrows I can get though. Actually 50 might be the max, although oh, my bow is breaking. <gasps> Dittany. Never turn down Dittany in this game. That is what I have learned. We'll go back to the knife for now. I do have another objective. Is it just to go and face Apollo? To find the liar of Apollo. Let us go back and find Apollo. Ooh, it looks like there's nice shiny things up here. I need to stop exploding myself. I'll take the hatchets though. No, I want the sun disc. I don't like that. That was given to me by Daphne. Why on earth wouldn't I want my shield? Okay, I saw an arrow come a flying. Wow, really? A sword versus a knife and the knife won? I mean, maybe you should, like, rethink your career there, guard. I'm not really asking for the shadows to help me, though, because I'm, I'm not... I'm not really, uh, following the shadows as far as I know. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Time to go make Apollo mad again. Because that's probably what's gonna happen, I mean. Let's be honest here. Have you no patience for a slow death? Well to flay every last one of those inept guards for letting you traipse about like that. Don't worry, they're already Pity. dead. You already put them to the sword. Yeah. Well, now you have your audience with the god of the sun. The god of flawless music. The god of glorious civilization itself. And there you slouch. A sweaty, dirty creature in the shape of a god. Uncivilized, undeserving, unenlightened. Apollo, you are being a butt. In the dark. Gotcha. Okay, he exploded. He poofed Can I craft? I like that you can just like stop and craft whenever you'd like. It's it's really nice. Let me enlighten. Although I don't see his health bar. Which isn't isn't pleasant. Okay, you just set a bunch of explosives up there next to you. Pity they don't seem to hurt him. Oh my goodness, okay. Apollo. 
Come here. Unless you're afraid of me, of course. the fire. I never put myself out. I don't know how to. This is as high as you climb, mortal. I mean, I've already dealt with like two other gods. What am I doing here? Again, do I need to be looking for something? Because he doesn't have a health bar. Okay, there's a staircase. Oh, but I can't get up there. Oh, there we go. Take all that. And I'll take the dip me too, you know. And the lock picks. Never turn down lock picks. Okay. Where is he? I mean, go ahead and try. I'm fine with that. So maybe I have to hit him with arrows. Except that it's really... Dare to touch the sun. Do I dare to touch the sun? Well, um... That's really supposed to be Helios's job, so... Give it back to him. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. He's not taking any damage, as far as I can tell. Like, there's no objective, and we've uncovered the whole map. This is as high as you climb. Oh wait, no, there's his health bar. Apollo. Have fun. I'll take that. Gifted to Apollo by the infant Hermes, who crafted it from a tortoise shell. This is his first lyre. Its urethral music has the power to command the light of the sun itself. Radiates a warm glow at all times, even in total darkness. So nice. I think that'll uh, decrease our requirements on our torch, which will be definitely helpful. We should have done this before we went down to Hades, though. <laughs> Oops. Alrighty, what's this objective now? Return to the Olympian Gates, yeah, because we're going to end up going from the Olympian Gates up to the Acropolis and do these three. And then I guess we get to deal with Zeus. But right now we're still at the Agora. And uh, I think we'll head back down to the Olympian Gates in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode of Apotheon, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!